Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive where it's all snowy. That's right, we're in the final week towards Christmas. Are you excited? I am. I've almost got all my Christmas shopping done. That means excitement when you, you're old and boring. <laughs> Right, so let's see. Oh, they've changed the little... Oh, look at the little snow houses with lights and everything. Uh, I want to say thank you to Ludia. Uh, put up the thingy because they, they sent me a little thank you. Uh, saying like, oh, thanks for the support and, and yada, yada, yada. All, all the lovely stuff. Uh, but they also sent me a an incubator that was like the... the I, it had a snowflake on it and it had 9,000 bucks in it. So I was very grateful. And I think there's maybe more, yeah? Um, to a very special DPG member with care from T-Rex. So this is sent to me from... T-Rex sent me a, a special gift, apparently. Right, let's see what this is. I have no idea. It, maybe this is even already a thing I've collected. Oh, 10 food, and I'm assuming this is 10... Oh, scent of claws. Oh, okay. I think I've got... What I like to do is I collect all my stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I've got five of these buggers. So what do you get in them? Oh, they've added the new stuff. They've added the bear. They've added the deer. Um, and then if you want, you've got the woolly rhino. My super lion's a pretty decent one to get there. But all right. All right. So, you, it's been a while since we've made a video on this game. What could Beavis possibly be doing? Mm, what, what could he have done to his team? Now, I cannot remember what happened last time I checked in with you guys. So, we'll, uh, we'll find out together. Uh, Trouble Trooper. No, I still prefer the, the original one I had. So, let's start off by donating. I've added um, a, a few different dinosaurs. Or maybe one dinosaur. You might have seen it before. I can't remember. Uh, to my team. And what we do in our reliance is if, you know, you don't want anything in particular, you request. Or you request Gallimimus. And that shows it's just giving people coin, basically. And I'm completely happy with that. Uh, do not need any more Draco Rex. And I have loads of the Arc Tops, so I don't need that. But we do have an incubator, or sorry, a sanctuary, that is all of the new bear. Because if you remember, or at least it's a lot of the new new creatures, um, and I think that was thanks to the Raptor Alliance. Um, for, for So thank you for sharing that. But the, the main reason now, uh, there's been a switch up in the game, if you remember the Megaloceros hybrid, the deer, Megalania thing, whatever it was, uh, regenerated a lot of health. Like, a lot of health. Now, each turn it gets hit and it survives, it, it regenerates like that much. It's minuscule. Absolutely minuscule. Which is such a shame. And I see this ha I mean, basically, I've seen this happen so many times in Ludia's games where if something's too good, it's gonna be nerfed. And that's just the way it is. They always get nerfed. And it's such a shame. Because I've put in loads of boosts. I've leveled it up. I've almost got level 30. I'm not gonna get it to level 30 anymore. So let's have a look at the bear. But the, speaking of that hybrid. Uh, oh, he, he managed to shake off the head of it. Interesting. And it's just sort of vibrating there, okay? How do you interact with it? Just poke him. Poke the bear. Oh, look at that. The fur detail is so good. It's got like a blur to it. It's gorgeous. How'd you play with a bear? Oh, with a tire. He sticks his head in. Oh, he pushes it over. Bear happy. <laughs> I love the detail they went to on this. It's so good. Uh, but really what I'm here for is this level 30 comp. Because as you can see, we're almost level 27. And unfortunately, I think it was like two weeks ago, the only time they put it uh, for a long time that they put compi as a dartable it was one day and i got like three because I, I didn't know it was going to be up in 24 hours I was like ah, i got tomorrow it's fine come back on tomorrow it's gone I'm like oh for god's sake because <laughs> i'm actually using compi in my regular team roster but speaking of you know things coming up on on or susie who's what's it's you know let's see what's coming up this week let's go to the newsroom so this is December 20th to 26th week. Uh, the winter creatures and win winter creatures. Okay, they're all winter creatures. Great. Thank you, Ludia. Uh, so Monday to Tuesday, Archetherium, Brontotherium, and Phosphorachus. Uh, only thing really notable, I guess, is that there is a scent of claws on the Monday. And you need your attack boosts on Tuesday to get, as well as a legendary snow incubator. So definitely get that. Don't miss out on that one. Uh, Wednesday to Thursday, uh, you have the new deer, the new bear, which you need for the, the apex um, hybrid. So definitely dart 
all Octobers, I would say. Megaloceros and Marsupial Lion. They've been around for a while. You, it's up to you whether you want to go for the bear or the new deer, the Cerevasus. There's a chance you might get the hybrid, the, the new Apex. Uh, and as apart from that, there's a rare incubator on the Wednesday and on the Thursday. There's, of course, health boost, which you definitely need to pick up, as well as a scent of claws. Friday to Saturday getting interesting because I think Friday is Christmas Eve? Well, I think it is. Anyway, uh, Friday, Saturday, you have Smalodon, Woolly Mammoth, and Woolly Rhino. It actually, is really good on Friday because you've got the legendary Bumpy Incubator. I think it was just 500 guaranteed Bumpy DNA, as well as Speed Boosts. And on the Saturday, uh, it sort of goes on to Sunday, you've got a legendary Incubator as well as a uh, the sort of coin collection thing, which you go around and collect. Um, and on Sunday, that being the Boxing Day, I think, uh, that you have Parasaurolophus Lux, which debatable if you want that. It's, it's, it's kind of rare, but at the same time, your other choice is... Actually, no, you get to, you get to dot both of them. Oh, sweet! Okay, uh, you have Testicorbinus, which is the, the new... or um, not so new, newly nerfed uh, hybrid that everybody was using, this guy. And this is, of course, one of the ingredients for the new Apex. So, if you're wanting to try and save up the Apex and get it as fast as you can, that being the Arcto Valley Seal, so whatever it's called, um, dark the Testicorminus on the Sunday, and on the Wednesday and Thursday, dark the Octodus. It's an interesting week. Now back on to the regulars. As you can see, we've got another scent of claws on today. Tijangasaurus, of course, the Phosphoracus, just kind of about. And I see this guy so much, and unfortunately, it hasn't had a really good hybrid. Hence the reason why I've got 2,500 DNA of it, or 25,000 DNA, I think it is. It's incredibly easy to dart. It's very common for me. And of course, because of that, it doesn't have a good hybrid. I don't think it does. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> Maybe it has a good hybrid. I don't know. But there you go. Way even more. Now, the reason why it's a weird level, the 17 of that, um, is because I thought, you know what? I'll, I'll level it up a little bit. And then I'll see if I can, you know, take some of it off so I can dot more. But it didn't change. So I don't know how much it keeps of the extra DNA. But it's a lot, apparently. Hopefully, I hope it's in unlimited. I really don't want it to be this case of, oh, we have dotted enough of that. You can't get any more. Um, but uh, you never know. So I think the most interesting thing to do, really, and one thing that I need to do, uh, apart from request Gallimimus, is, of course, to do regular battles because I'm completely out of, uh, of thingies, of incubators. And you know what? We'll, we'll do this. We'll get some extra boosts. I don't think there's anything at the moment that I'm really needing. Um, there's no, there's nothing really I'm working towards to go onto my team. Uh, the only thing I'm, I'm working towards, of course, is Compi. Test of Corbinus now has completely stopped. I'm like, I don't know if I want that. Um, and the Indratorus. Oh, I've never made the bear. <gasps> We've never made the bear. Oh, well, we've got to make it, don't we? We've seen it play with tires, and now we need our own. So here we go. Test of Arctodus. Yeah! Look at the cave, Barry. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, there's a 500. So what's his attacks? Can we have a ha hazard a guess? I'm sure somebody's already got the Apex Hybrid. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, a heavy strike, alert decelerating impact, and defensive edge. Target all opponents, remove shield, self-increase your damage for 50% for two attacks, and last three turns. So you get rid of the shields and you give yourself a, um, a what do you call it? A, an attack boost. But that's it. It's not priority. Looks like something that's definitely going to be used for the Apex that will eventually come out. It's resistant to rend, vulnerability, and speed decrease. Very good. Short, phased, fair. Oh, but this guy... Oh, you need... Oh! Oh, never mind. You need the deer and the Arctodus. Oh, oh, dear. And then you can work your way towards this guy. <laughs> I've got almost... Well, 11, almost 11 pops at this, which is 110. Worst case scenario. So I'm still not there with the um, Megaloceros, but I've still... Um, Tesco Openness, whatever it's called. But I haven't got the other hybrid yet. So... Hold on to our butts when it comes to that one. But let's do some battles and see if I can even win one with the Compi. Come on, Compi. We can do it. We can win. Defeat three creatures. Did we get the Compi? Heck yeah, we did. Ooh, we 
it's a tough one to start with because the testicorminus gets like 300 health each time. And chances are they're gonna, ah, should we? Uh, I kind of want to get rid of Testacorbinus so that when I switch out with the Utaranix, I'll have um, the Indotaurus ready to clean up. So I'm just gonna, I'm hopefully gonna do some damage with whatever comes out. And... Maybe? I mean, I don't remove his cloak. That's, that's a bugger. Uh, if he does go for cloak, um, oh, I was going to do that anyway. <laughs> I was going to do that. Okay, okay, that's fine. We'll go through Cloak. We'll do some damage. It, it's something, isn't it? Now he's going to do a lot of damage to us because we're not resistant. And it's a double. Oh, and we don't get a heal from that. Right, so this is what we do, guys. Copy comes in. Um, pesky alert does not matter because he's going to kill us no matter what. <laughs> oh, he's going to kill one compy. Look at it. Now, does he have resistance to escaping? I don't know. He cleanses himself. Does how much damage? 1,200. That's a shame. <laughs> now we get to go first. Nom, nom. Now, great thing about the compy is that it has a resistance to the rend. So not only is he half attack, but also this doesn't do much. So he's actually a perfect counter. Uh, for a Indotaurus. Well, not perfect. There's, there's a lot to be said here. Um, we could go for the Hop and Mock. Um, but if we just go for this hit, uh, we can kill him on the next turn. Oh! Is he able to switch out? He's not able to switch out. Perfect! Nom, nom, nom. Now, we are vulnerable. Now, this could make a difference here. It doesn't. Perfect! Oh, bring us to another bite. Another little nibbles. Well, who didn't see that coming? Of course, he's going to go for it. Can the compies kill Indotaurus? Please. Oh, no. I don't know if they're going to be able to. No. Compies, no. Um, huh. Huh, this is interesting because I could go for a hit here. Come on, compies. Wait, he's allowed to switch out now? What happened there? How come he was allowed to switch out? What? <laughs> oh, by the way, if they're, um, you know, they're, they're cloaking, they could just switch out. Okay. okay, game. Okay, okay. I I don't get it, but whatevs. Now, he's quicker, and we do have the alert scurry, but he's going to do a bleed, and, and that's no good for us. A bleed's really no good for us. So, what we could do is um, switch out and into Taurus. You know, why not? I... I I don't want to lose Compi. I want Compi to kill something here. My goal is not winning. Oh, perfect. Okay, okay. We're going to go for a hit there on a counter. Sweet. Um, now do we switch out? I feel like I want to switch in the Compi. Get the help. Um, now he could stun me. I'm going to now revert, revert to my normal plan, which was to get rid of Testa Corbinus. So that Utaranix can come in. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. I don't really care about losing this guy. It's not... Like, normally this would have been like 600 to 900 health increase or something. But now it's 300. It's pittance. Tuppence. Rubbish. So in comparison to what it was, it's horrendous. So, with that in mind, apparently he's still got his <laughs> special ability. But it doesn't really matter because we can go for this big hit. And if he does want to go for the instant cloak, whatever it is, ambush, uh, we can go for our own, you know, um, instant charge. So, okay, interesting, interesting. It's not quicker than us, which is great. Uh, which means that I think um, if I was him, he's probably going to go for sidestep. Now, if he is going to go, I think he's going to go for sidestep. Uh, he's already nerfed. So I'm going to assume it's a sidestep coming up here. Uh, should I go for the attack decrease? Predicting that and then go for a charge? Ah, let's predict it. Let's predict it. Oh, he didn't. Wow. Okay, I was played. I was not expecting that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. He survives by 61 health. <laughs> he shouldn't be able to swap out now, though. Yeah, he's... Uh, he, he doesn't have many options here, really. What we could go for is the Rampage and Run, but I don't think I'm going to do that. He's going to go for a sidestep. It's not going to make much of a difference. Because now, it doesn't really matter what comes in. I think I'm going to be quicker than it. I think. This may have been his quickest. Um, 
Oh, and of course he dodged it as well. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go for Rampage and Run, switch into Taurus, uh, and then see how that goes. And actually, it's not going to be too bad for me. Um, although maybe it will be. He's going to heal a fair amount of health, but then I'm going to sort of slash him. Um... I could go for a charge and hope I'm not I'm not gonna risk it. I am not gonna risk the minute chance that he's gonna get stunned, because he probably won't. Now 300, it's not much, but then this, this here is the big one. This is what heals you a lot. So interested to see has his own, so we've done like that much damage. <laughs> Blinda Taurus, why not? Um Right, okay, it's not actually too great for me, because next turn, he's probably going to go for a digging, uh, predicting that I'm maybe going to go for cloak. I'm not too sure, but what I will do is I will just go for a regular, like, hit. I think, yeah, I thought he was going to go for digging taunt, but I'm going to just break his shield, do some damage, um, and then he's going to go for his biggest hit, uh, and then we're going to play a little bit of silly buggers with him. Um... Yeah, here comes the counter heal. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have anything to really counter this because of my situation. <laughs> so my best case scenario is nothing. I don't have anything to take this on. Like, I'm going to swap out to get the comp in, to get the health, to get healed by the hit by the devastation, to then go for my heal, to then get hit, and then to hit him again and then die. <laughs> Which is probably going to land us in the same region of like 3,000 damage. So we're going to get the... He's got to do the biggest hit. He's got to do the biggest hit. Yeah. I mean, even if he didn't, he'd probably still kill him. So that's that done. But we're still in with a chance. We could go for a little nipples. Yes, 1,200. So we did 900 damage there. Brilliant. Yeah, rally. Now, what's he going to go for? Is he just going to go for the speed? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, we probably lost this one, I would say. But, you know, it's it's more fun this way. I think his team was basically the classic. You know, you had Testacorminus, Phosphor, like the Foranex, whatever it is. Uh, pretty much everything here is just go for a lot of hits. And, yeah, there's, there's now I can do, unfortunately. Well, that's game. On to the next match, shall we? The real Alquilla. You get minus 10 points for creativity. <laughs> Says me with the whole team that's basically the same. But I have a copy. <laughs> I like to have some fun when I play in these battles. Okay, do we get copy again? Heck yeah, we get copy. Um, uh, is Mortem Rex like a, a confident start? I could go for a hit. Do a lot of damage and then switch into Phos Phosphor or whatever. I, yeah, let's go for that. Let's let's go for that tactic. Or I could switch out for... um. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that's bad for him. That's very bad for him, isn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, if I was my huge hating Mortem, um, he might... Well, if I got a crit, he definitely probably would be dead. Uh, so I think I'm in the range of him switching out to finish me with a model rhino. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out to Phosphorax or whatever it's called. Uh, Phorax, because I think he's got to swap and then they're going to get a free hit. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, but I do kill him. Okay, it worked out in the end. <laughs> uh, you never know how these things are going to go. All right, so I've got my instant uh, attack. Now, he needs his own. Most of the time, like, my Phosphorax isn't that good, uh, if we've got to be honest. Um, so, what do you think he's going to do here, guys? Do you think he's going to go for instant distraction, expecting me to go for my instant? Um, it doesn't even matter, because I'm still faster, which is actually really interesting, because I'm only a speed... I've put no speed into this thing at all. Oh! Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, no! I think I'm dead, though. I think I'm dead. Yes. Okay, well done. We can finish him with a compi. Uh, has he got... Is he able to swap out? Oh, he does have resistance to swap out. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, have I got a resistance to attack here? Attack nullifying? I do! Ha-ha! <laughs> In comes Copy! Although we don't get to see it. It's kind of obscured. He can swap out. I mean, if... <laughs> Something's just gonna get hit. It's a little nibble, so maybe he will just expect it. I mean, I get, a, I get an evasive, and I get a free hit. Ah! He's decided to rage quit. A perfect option. <laughs> Unless he just wants to, like, waste my time. 
I like, it, you know what it is? I killed his Dilofa Boa thing. And... Or Boa Constrictor, whatever it is. Uh, Dilofa Constrictor. And that's his, um, that's his picture. So that's why he's not happy. Uh, so... I could go for this. Uh, get a cleanse. But the thing is, I'm gonna take a hit. Oh, okay! Thought he would go for... Oh, his regular attack doesn't kill me, actually. Oh, did it? I think it left me with a slither. Like, a legit slither of health. <laughs> um, sure? Uh, yeah! Oh, now, oh, now he's gonna go for a set. What's he do? What's this guy doing? What are you doing? I mean... I could have went for my, um, my, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the nullify there. Um, but he would have went first, wouldn't he? Okay, fair enough. I think, I think what he might do here, and because I've got so many, I will switch. Because he's only... Oh, he's... Sw oh, oh no. <laughs> this is not good. I'm dead. Oh! 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 I actually survived. All right. All right. Um, this is really weird. Uh, I mean, he, he's, he's very frustratingly for him. Just on the cusp of killing one of my dudes. <laughs> and now a sidestep is worn off. Um, uh, and I can just go for regular hits. He's going to sidestep again. The copy is doing it. The copy is killing something. Yes, he's going to... He's trying his best. He really is trying his best here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the mop and hawk or whatever it is. Which basically means that he's, um, he's all his, his evasion or at least his speed buff is uh, going to disappear. So we're going to do that. Uh, oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You want to go for that? It's, it's, it's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Now what he's going to do is probably... Um, go for... Oh, okay. if I was level 30, if I was a level 30 compy, I would kill him here. But I'm not. Compy putting in the wood. We're doing it. We're doing it. How was the cooldown? Two. Okay, so he hasn't got it back yet. I wonder what is his thought process is in here. Because I'm just going to go for this. And he... I mean, he's... He's probably going to go for the Rampage and Bleed. That that secures him this victory against the Compi. Um, or not. Or not. I don't know what his plan is here. Uh, oh, he's got instant. Yes. Well done. Well done. You, you killed a Compi. <laughs> well, I'm afraid... Um, huh. Hmm. Hmm. Because what's going to happen here is he's going to go for his Rampage, I think. He's going to go for his Rampage. Ooh, it's actually really close. He's definitely going to go for his Bleed and Rampage, but I want to just, you know, negate as much of that as possible. So we'll do that. We'll get a dodge. Yep, there it is. Uh, he does go through, unfortunately. That is a really big shame because that's a lot of damage on me. Uh, oh, we're dead. <laughs> oh, Sarah Magnet, you never see these anymore. Well, well done. Um, well played, Poopy. You get minus 10 points for creativity again. You know what it is? I could very easily just fill my team up with Apexes and stuff, but I like Utaranix. I like the Compi. And if it means that I'm not the best, I'm all right with it. I, 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 if I can get a kill... With the, um... Oh, this is good! Because we can get the switch rampage from the Utaranix into the Compi. Hey! Very good. Wait, what? He's quicker than me? Oh, sorry. He's not quicker than me. Yeah, that's what I'm surprised about. Mortems are usually fast. What's he doing? You're not doing Mortem correctly. <laughs> You're supposed to one-shot me. Or not. You know, whatever, I suppose. Well, we're going to do some damage. Really? This is kind of one-on-one happen. I want it to die... It's now within killing range of Utaranix. And if he does switch out, whatever comes in is gonna... is gonna suffer. Right, so... 
Yutaranix is quicker, which is great, because now he's in an awkward situation. It's either fodder off Morty. Now he has seen two of my creatures are faster than him. Although he wants to save it. Okay. Oh, very, very interesting. Now I think I have a bleed resistance. I do. Um, I could be stunned, however. There is a very slim chance I could be stunned. So let's see. So we're going to reduce his attack. He's quicker. Which is... I mean, that's okay. I don't think he can be stunned, however. I think there's an immunity to the stun. Alright, so I'm going to go for this one. Alright, there's that. Hopefully... Oh, a lot of damage. Hopefully they don't get stunned. That's good. That's good. Okay. So now we negate... Cleanse my damage. We negate his critical chance. Not that he had any. He does even less damage now. And now we're going to do a big hit. Now, if I was him, I would... I would have just not done that. I would have just... Wait, what would I have done? I don't know. <laughs> Thinking about it now, I don't know what I would have done. But he survived, unfortunately. And in comes the copy! And because I only have one dead, it doesn't make a difference to me. So he's gonna go for a hit here. So he's gonna Mortem. Interesting. He's gonna hope that he, uh... He manages to survive this. And there's a very good chance he will, because I don't have that much attack. I, I mean, I just, Oh! He dodged it and, I, you know, perfect! It was meant to be basically wasted his time there. It was great. So, oh, a Trico. Ooh, interesting. Now, Trico, I don't think has an attack that attacks all units. So that's really good for me. So we can actually whittle him down a fair bit here. Go for that. Yep, and then he's going to go for the uh, the Resilient. Yes, we didn't see that coming. Well done, yes. You killed one. Well, we are vulnerable now, however, which is just the problem with the comp here. It, it, it's just not... There's no resistance to vulnerability, which makes it very bad. <laughs> but we get alert scurry, which means we get one back. So we've done some damage, and we're going to be back at square one in a second. Oh, no, never mind. Vulnerability is terrible. Yes. <laughs> if I was not vulnerable, that would have been fine. Um, so now, kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because he's going to reduce speed me. Is it reduce speed or is it just go through a cloak? Let's go through a cloak. Ah, who cares? We're going to keep Compi. I want to get a kill with it. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> So, swap prevention. Great, he can't swap out. He's done his biggest hit. The best thing he can do now is this. Didn't get a crit, which means I've survived. Um, I am vulnerable now, but it's dead because it can't swap out. And even if it goes for instant invincibility, he's dead. So, not bad. Not bad. So, 2-1, but we're not in a good situation. All dinos are damaged very badly. <laughs> Utaranex is still quick, though. Oh, a Monlo Rhino. Interesting, and it is quicker. Okay, so what we can do here is at least go for the critical sidestep. I mean, he's probably going to go for his shield, which makes sense. Um, he can't remove. Um, oh, he's still he's still quicker. Oh, and he gets a crit. Oh wow, he's 142 speed. Oh, oh no! <laughs> right, copy. It's your time to shine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're not outspeeding my copy. So he's going to do the go through cloak. It's 100% going to come through here. So we're very predictable. Very predictable. So he does the hit. Does do a kill. No, very well. I'm going to try and get one back here. <laughs> oh, he went for group shield. Interesting. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Um... I mean, he does that. I'll do this. Because I could I could get rid of his shield, but then he's going to go through uh, my evasion. So I might as well just do some damage to him. Oh! Oh, we survived? Oh, we didn't. Ah, it's annoying, the weird glitch that doesn't show him. Um, uh, now, what's, what's better here? I don't actually know. I'm just going to go for a hit. <laughs> I was gonna go for a hit. Ah, uh, it's a shame. It is a shame that even... I know why Ludia put in boosts. They wanted to make the game more fun. But the problem is... It doesn't matter what you do... Um... To it. 
because <laughs> you put boosts in to make like no regular creatures into but then people just use boosts on you know the the actual usable creatures which makes sense and we die again <laughs> i think we're gonna end it there but basically you you so so you want to have fun in Jurassic world alive this is what happens when you try to have fun with Dress World Alive. <laughs> you basically face up against the same things, even though these three battles, they were kind of all different, but they're all top tier. They're all like Mount Rhino, Scorpius Rex Gen 2, uh, the, the Indotatorus, the Tescorbinus, the Mortem, the... You know, you've seen that if you're in this rank, you know, in Gyrosphere or Nublar Bay, uh, or if you're in Nublar or whatever it's called, you've probably seen some crazy ones because there people are getting the best rewards and then can experiment a little. But basically, if you play the game more than casually, you're going to face up against these these critters. And the, the thing is, unfortunately, even though I have compies and, you know, I have a lot of creatures that are max boosted, there's nothing I can do. And it's sad. It's sad to have all these creatures and to have them reduced to... 20 that are usable. Um, you know, I, I mean, Compi is kind of usable because it has the swap in. Um, it has the swap in ability um, to heal, to get evade. It has the alert swarm, which means they can't, um, you know, swap out. But the problem is, even though it's 100% resistant to stun, it's resistant to ren, resistant to swap, resistant to reduce damage. The vulnerability, unfortunately, because pretty much every creature has at least one attack that makes you vulnerable and goes through block and takes away attack. Um, uh, it's just a shame. I mean, you know, you could say, well, use Compsocallus, because Compsocallus is basically the better one. But Compsocallus isn't, because it has a swap in distraction. Um, it's not 100% resistant to stun, which the other one is. Yes, it has the rend, it, it reduced damage. Yes, reduced speed, but... It's it's in all argue in all argument's sake, I think Compi's better. But anyway, guys, that's enough for me ranting. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget link in the description down below. Get your free books and then spend them on whatever you want. I'm not gonna judge. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh bye bye.